And now, your WCBX Pinpoint Weather with Chief Meteorologist Jordan Dressman. It truly was a beautiful Saturday afternoon across the Tennessee Valley, and I hope everybody was able to get out and enjoy the sunshine. We saw a lot of sunshine this afternoon. Satellite and radar uh, attempted to pick up on just a couple of hit or miss clouds. A lot of that was just some very upper level cirrus clouds, maybe a few fair weather cumulus clouds, but really that's about it. Obviously, we didn't see a single drop of rain across the entire Tennessee Valley, and that's going to be a continuing trend for at least a few more days. We're going to stay dry Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. I have other opportunities for rain in the forecast once we get to Wednesday. It looks like our best chances for any real measurable precipitation are going to come Thursday and Friday of next week before we do eventually dry out by the time we get to next weekend. And really, this dry period is something that we can be okay with. We don't necessarily need the rain. We're not really that dry across North Alabama, Southern Middle Tennessee. Now, some folks across Northeast Alabama are sitting in the abnormally dry category, but nothing to worry about just yet. Now, on the long term, looking at 2020 as a whole, we really don't need the rain. On any given year, we average right around 54.34 inches of total rainfall at Huntsville International Airport. So far, the airport has recorded 53.48 inches of rain. The Muscle Shoals Airport has recorded over 57 inches of rain this year. In regards to Huntsville International, we have seen 98% of our average yearly rainfall. Temperatures really warmed up this afternoon. Seasonal for this time of year saw 88 at Huntsville International, 82 in Pulaski, 85 in Fayetteville. That's probably a couple of degrees below average, but still a beautiful Saturday nonetheless. 88 was the high in Florence, 84 for both Russellville and Moulton. We cool off once again through the overnight here in Huntsville. I've got a low right around 61 degrees. Now there are a couple of places that could drop into the mid and upper 50s, namely up across southern middle Tennessee. I've got 57 when you wake up tomorrow morning in Fayetteville and then some folks across far northeast Alabama. We're talking about the higher elevations as well. Could also drop into the mid and upper 50s. Otherwise, it looks like everybody is going to hang out in the lower 60s. That is a few degrees below average as far as early September is concerned. We warm up once again tomorrow afternoon, 81 by the lunch hour, 88 by 3 p.m. Looks like we'll finish the day right around 88 or 89 degrees. Some of us are going to make a pretty solid run at 90. So here's Sunday and Monday for you. We start the day Sunday at 61. We finish the day at 88. Obviously not a drop of rain in the forecast. Monday looks very similar. We start the day right around 65. Plenty of sunshine, not a drop of rain. We'll finish the day right around 90 degrees. We're also going to hold on to the lower dew points through Sunday afternoon, hanging out in the mid and upper 50s. Some folks creeping into the lower 60s. That's still in the comfortable category. If you like it on Sunday, you're going to get to enjoy it for the most part again on Monday. Notice though, dew points are beginning to creep up just a little bit more across northwest Alabama into the low and maybe even into the mid 60s. I think they could creep up a little more on Tuesday, but generally through at least Tuesday afternoon, they are going to remain low in the upper 50s and lower 60s. That's not until we get to Wednesday and then eventually into Thursday when we see those dew points back in the mid and upper 60s, even creeping into the lower 70s. Have a good look at the next seven days. Really is a beautiful seven day forecast. Monday, Tuesday, staying dry. Small opportunities for rain on Wednesday. Better opportunities for rain through Thursday and Friday. Look at our temperatures progressively dropping through the later part of next week. I've got 85 on Thursday, 80 on Friday. I put 79 on Saturday, but that's seven days out, so it's likely to change, Sydney.